Hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to the Pixel Gun 3D Web Review video. And today, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling kind of lazy, I guess. Um, I was up super late the past couple nights, last night because of Clan War, and, you know, that was kind of pointless because we're absolutely whooping, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling super tired, so I thought we'd just have a chill day, you know? And what's a more perfect weapon for a chill day than the Freon? That's right. A cold weapon for a chill day? <laughs> what, what, what are my puns? What, what, what is wrong with me? But yeah, honestly, I've been using this weapon um, quite a lot recently, and honestly, this weapon's good. Um, I actually don't really know how it functions without modules, but I'm able to use this weapon in Team Strike and take down people. Um, so I just thought to give this weapon a go. Um, I really like this weapon. Uh, that's just my personal preference. I really like flamethrowers. Not sure why. Probably just because, um, where even is it? This weapon used to be my favorite weapon, and now it just it's just absolutely trash, so I never use it. Um, and this weapon kind of functions similarly, and it's actually good. So I'm just going to give this weapon a go. It's kind of random, but I, I just want to have some fun today. So yeah, be sure to leave any weapon reviews down uh, in the comments. Be sure to check out my Discord server, and it'd mean a lot if you guys stayed for the whole video. It really helps my channel out. So yeah, no more said, let's just jump right into a match. Obviously, since it's a flamethrower, you're gonna be want you're gonna wanna be in these close range maps. And unfortunately there's like hardly any people here. But um as you can see, <laughs> already taken down people. Um you'd hardly ever see people using this weapon, and um not sure why, because it's it's decent, you know. Um you can get it with coupons, I'm pretty sure. Um it's been out for like ever, so chances are quite a few of you might have it and you don't even know just how good it is. Um, I don't, I don't have modules on right now, so obviously I'm, I'm gonna get a ton of kills stolen, aren't I? But, um, yeah, don't even have modules on, and I'm still doing good. Unfortunately, this triple bite person is gonna be the absolute bane in my, of my existence right now. But yeah, you can only do so much about that. Uh, the triple bite person's actually taken quite a while longer to kill. That was totally improper English, but, um, yeah, I just kinda, today I kinda wanted to cut back on the game chatter, you know, and just, just talk casually. So, like, yesterday was my birthday, and it was a pretty, pretty, uh, fun day, to say the least, you know, obviously, I have to go to school on my birthday, which I kind of despise, but honestly, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good day for my birthday, so I'm not going to complain too much. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, just thought I'd share with you a little bit more about myself. Um, I'm kind of, like, a geek, slash nerd, slash, uh, I don't even know what term. Not anime, but when it comes to like Star Wars, whew, I I could watch Star Wars videos, and I have watched Star Wars videos for hours at a time. If you haven't seen like the Clone Wars, the animated show, um, please don't. J okay, I'm expecting to get bullied for everything I'm about to tell you, and you know what? That's okay. But actually, what kind of happened was um, the Mandalorian uh, came out, and I just kind of it kind of got me back in. Are there people? There are hardly any people. But, um, it kind of got me back into Star Wars, and, um, so I started pr watching pretty much every movie out there, um, and, uh, even the Clone Wars, I watched pretty much everything just to kind of figure out what was going on with The Mandalorian, you know, because I got, I was really into the show, it's a really good show, and I found out, um, the Star Wars, uh, what, what would you call it, franchise, I guess, um, is actually, it, it's pretty good, um, the amount, uh, of, like, just, just like how much it relates to modern day uh, problems and stuff is just, it's just insane. And there's just a lot, of, a lot to learn from it. And on top of that, it's just, I just think it's cool. And I've kind of been like addicted to that. Uh, so basically, um, what happened and stuff is uh, got addicted to Star Wars. And um, I kind of thought, wow, when I was a kid, I loved Star Wars too. Like when I was younger, and I had a lot of Star Wars Legos. So what I did was I started going through like my Lego bin, and I started rebuilding all my old Star Wars Lego sets. Found out they go for a lot of money, <laughs> like even even um, used on like eBay and stuff. Um, so I, I, I was like, wow, okay, these are pretty valuable. So like even if I didn't sell them, I might as well build them, you know, because apparently just simply having them is a flex. So I started rebuilding all those Lego sets, and turns out. Mm, coming from a six, I'm actually 17 because you know, this whole thing is because of my birthday. Turns out, building Legos is actually kind of fun. Who knew? So I kind of started spending a lot of money on Legos. So I got Legos for my birthday. But yeah, it was actually super nostalgic 
getting a box shaped present and being able to shake it and hear plastic pieces moving around and then I, I don't know it's just pretty cool and I got some some of the new Lego Star Wars sets and I'm such a child I know here I am playing Pixel Gun 3D talking about how I watched Star Wars um, and got Legos for my birthday so can we just like quickly acknowledge that I am absolutely whooping? I'm, I mean, I'm not first place, but I'm like doing really good, and this weapon doesn't even have modules on. Like, <laughs> like if if you're not persuaded to get this weapon just for fun, um, why not? And I don't like playing this game to sweat. Okay, I don't care what people say about my playstyle. If I'm having fun, I'm having fun, and um, me spamming this weapon is pretty fun. And this weapon actually sounds cool too. I might, I might just go silent for a couple or a minute or so, really quickly, and show you what it sounds like. By the way, um, volume warning. Um, I'm kind of like a huge Star Wars fan. I used to be a huge Marvel fan, however, I kind of, uh, I mean, I, I still really like it. It's just, I, I don't really, like, watch it as much as I do Star Wars and stuff. Um, just after, like, uh, Endgame came out, and, you know, we kind of lost Captain America and Iron Man, and those were, those were, like, my two favorite characters. And, I mean, I'm not, like, complaining, because, honestly, like, um, you know, they have to, it has to come to an end at some point, and honestly, I'm, I'm not disappointed with the way Iron Man and Captain America went out at all. I was super satisfied with the way everything ended, but, um, I just kind of lost interest in it. I don't, I don't really care for WandaVision whatsoever. Um, Iron Man and Captain America were really, they, they were just cool characters, and that, I, that's really all I watched it for. So, once, after Endgame finished, I kind of stopped wa watching and caring for Marvel. And then, like, right as that happened, The Mandalorian came out, and I got hooked on Star Wars, so... Yeah, that's that's just uh, some more, and really the only thing interesting about me is I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and a moderate Marvel fan. Okay, this this match I'm not really doing too much better, but it's also team fight, so... What can I do? Come here, buddy. Come here. And everyone here is kind of spamming heavy. It's probably like a... It is a clan challenge, actually, but... Still kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go on a rant really quick, okay? Like, today's just a talking day. So, um... Uh, Pixel Gun, you know? They're, they're like, still throwing out le updates left and right. Yet, they can't fix the game. Like, how about, how about, like, Pixel Gun just, like, stops adding new things that continue to worsen and add bugs to the game? And just spend updates fixing stuff? Like, why don't iOS players have access to the community trader ban? Weapons that they picked, they can't buy. Like me, I can't get the the primary. And honestly, I was planning on getting it, because from what I've seen, it's really good. And unfortunately, I can't get it, which is frustrating. Um, I'm going to go put modules on this weapon really quick. So, just as always, I'm going for that energy module, just because the sticky mines are ridiculously overpowered. So yeah, I just, gosh, it just annoys me that like, that like the, de the developers just seem, I don't know if they really are, but they just seem so money grabby by just always adding new overpowered weapons and they just, they can't balance, they can't, they can't balance overpowered weapons, they can't, uh, well I guess they can't nerf overpowered weapons like the triple bite, they can't buff super, uh, weapons that probably should be good but just aren't, like, the damage is always so inconsistent. Um, there are several hackers roaming throughout this game. There are several complaints about just how the game, like mini games, function and how like you can earn trophies and not have to do anything. Um, yeah, there's just there's just so many ways they can improve the game by just simply taking a break from adding new things and going back and revamping all the old stuff. Like, just, just making Pixel Gun kind of like how it used to be, honestly. And, um, because it's just so frustrating. It, it's so... 
annoying, and people would find this game so much more enjoyable if there weren't like five overpowered weapons that were released every month, and then they would get nerfed, and then new ones would come out. And it's such a money grab scheme, and it's it's so annoying. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Like if you want to get good at this game, you really gotta grind for it. You really gotta put the hours in, earn some gems, get some coupons, get get the good weapons that like won't change. Which, there are very few of them, and usually, um, I, I don't know, they're just, they're so overused that it's just annoying. But, they're just, I, I, I don't even know, I don't, I don't even know, I just, it'd just be nice for a revamp. And I know, I don't really know how many developers there are, but from what I, from what I know so far, like, I, there's gotta be more than two, right? In the Discord server, there's only two that actually talk to the people, and uh, they hardly ever do talk to people. That's the problem. Um, Berserk, who was in the Discord server and actually talked to people, he would like just sit in the server for like an hour at a time and actually communicate with the people. Um, quit or did he quit? He something something happened. He's no longer a Pixel Gun developer, basically, and. Um, I just, I just appreciated him and what he did so much. He put in so much work for the community. He, he talked to the people. He wanted to know how, what they, what their feelings were, and wanted to improve the game for everyone. And it's so unfortunate that he's not a part of the team anymore. And yeah, when you don't have that communication between you and your, um, what, what would you call it, player base? Your, in this, like, in a business term, it'd be your consumer. But I mean, would a video game really be considered a like a product? I, I don't know. I don't know the technical term. But when you don't have communication between you and the player, it's just it's so hard to keep the game good and fun and enjoyable. And I still enjoy playing it. Like I'll play it. Um, but I just don't like. I'm not like addicted to it. Like I'll get off. Like if I'm like okay, I've played for like 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna go play other games. Um, but when it comes to like games like Apex Legends, like whew, I get it, I get on that and I can't get off. I'll play it for for hours at a time, um, and I have to like set, set set time limits for myself so I don't play it all day. Um, but yeah, I, that's how I used to be with this game. I could play this game forever. It was so fun um, and enjoyable, and it's just I just don't feel that way anymore. I'll, I'll get on for like a couple hours and then I'll get bored and. Um, get annoyed at people, I get triggered, and other people feel the same way. I'm not the only person who thinks like this. And part of it is just because there's there's just so many little things um, that could be improved, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to like bash on the developers because I don't know the whole reason or whatever, but in my opinion there's just so many little things that can be improved and um, yeah, like, okay, hear me out. So if you didn't see like a couple of my videos, basically I accidentally, whoops, basically I accidentally uh, upgraded my photon sniper to mythical, and I didn't even know that I did it until the next day. So I was like, I was gonna go buy a weapon for a weapon review, and I couldn't do it because I just I, I had gems, but um. I wasn't about to spend 350 gems for a mythical weapon that I know was definitely not going to be worth it, but would still be a, okay to have. I, it, I was just not going to do it. Um, so I had spent 1,200 gems on a sniper that I never really use. I probably wouldn't use for ever, maybe. Um, I could have upgraded other weapons, but I had accidentally done that. So there's just a simple way that um, you can fix that. <laughs> that I, as a computer coder know how to fix um you just add a confirm purchase button that doesn't allow you to do anything else until you confirm yes or confirm no and it's it's you don't even have to like just just add a add it like in a prompt a prompt or something like i can i can literally write the code for java and python i i know that that's probably not what they're using, but my point is, is like, it, it takes like 10 lines of code to be, alright, ask the user to input yes or no, if yes, then confirm purchase, if no, then cancel, like, it, it's, it's really not that difficult to code, like, I just, things, small things like this, um, that would just improve, that would be so much better.
And again, I'm not trying to bash. I'm just, I'm just trying to say it. Like, if any, if anyone at the Pixel Gun developing, what, what? I don't even. I'm so bad at grammar, but you know what I mean. If anyone like is watching this, just like take my ideas into consideration. You know. But yeah, it, it is what it is. Work with what you got. You know. It's unfortunate that I now have the. <laughs> it's like, it's like a freaking millionaire complaining. Oh, I just blue 100 grand or whatever it's like unfortunate that i have a mythical photon sniper when i could have something better than that you know but instead i'm i'm short on gems I, i'm not short on gems anymore because i had to grind to get my gems back but whatever and that's and that's another thing it's like well i don't want to play the game now that i just accidentally wasted 1,200 gems, like, I, the last thing I'm gonna want to do is sit on the game for 14 hours at a time to try and get my gems back. <laughs> like, if, like, when it comes to Minecraft, I die in lava and lose all my stuff, I'm not gonna go, okay, well, the, the thing I want to do right now is grind my butt off to get all my stuff back. I mean, obviously, like, I'm gonna need some time to cool down, and then I'll come back and do it, but it's like, bro. Okay, I think that's gonna wrap the video up there. I hope that's long enough. Um, if it's not, it's okay. I just wanted to make a video, you know. I, I didn't make one yesterday, um, and I just, I was feeling up to making a video, but just wanted to chill. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch till the end, you're, you're truly a pro. So, go down to the comments and comment, I'm a pro. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, consider joining my Discord server, and also if you have any weapon review suggestions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And with all that being said, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!